Hi, this is Chris with Sonoma Partners. And this is the first installment in our video series entitled What's New in Microsoft CRM 2011? But today we want to focus on the dashboards. The dashboards are going to be the first thing most users see when they first come into Microsoft CRM. And while they're not a new concept in the CRM industry, before if you wanted them available in Microsoft CRM, it took some development or some customization effort to make it happen. Well, now they're not a box feature. And as you can see, they're a terrific feature in Microsoft CRM. And they bring together a lot of different types of information for users. You can see here I'm pulling in different aspects of my sales efforts. Now these dashboards are highly configurable and highly personal. As you can see, out of the box, there's different dashboards already customized for different roles within the organization. I can see dashboards for customer service, marketing, sales, you name it. And you can create as many more dashboards as you want to see beyond this, or even edit the ones that come out of the box. Now users can take any one of these dashboards and view them that they have access to through security. And if they like that dashboard, they can go through here and click this button to set it as their default. Now don't be turned off by the kind of flat appearing graphics. This is a beta, and I have seen the graphics that will be released uh, in the final production version and they are terrific, full, 3D, really nice looking charts. And as you can see, dashboards aren't limited to just numbers and charts and graphs. You can pull in a lot of other types of information. You can pull in lists that correspond to different entities within the system. For example, this is a list of activities and it corresponds to my activities view, so the activities assigned to me. And the nice thing is once you enter one of these list objects, you get all the features available in the ribbon that would be there if you were in the, that section of CRM. So from here, I can create new activities, close these out, edit them. And this is open to any type of entity in CRM. So I can do the same for my opportunities, my customers, people I work with, you name it. Now through the dashboard, it's not just a pretty picture you can definitely interact with all the data on here. So through here, if I hover over any one of these charts, I have some options that pop up. I can refresh it just by clicking the refresh button. I can drill through and see the records that make up this chart and feed into it. You'll see that pop up here in a second. So this pops up to the view, my open opportunities. And as you can see, the chart that was in the dashboard actually is embedded in this list as well. And this goes back to all these charts are now considered chart objects in the new version. And we're gonna explore that a little further in another installment, um, but suffice to say they're a very powerful addition to Microsoft CRM. Uh, another nice thing about it is you can also enlarge these charts. So if you want to view them in more detail, you can have it highlighted, pop it up and, and see all the information in there. Now, like I said, they are very configurable. So we'll real quickly start to create one and see some of the options we have. So I can click new right here. As we can see, there's a number of different formats available out of the box. I'll go ahead and pick this format and we'll start the creation process. And it comes in blank with the layout that we chose. And the nice thing about that layout is that it's just a starting point. We can go through and resize remove, you know, do whatever we want to any of these sections. And within each section on the dashboard, we can uh, create any one of four objects. So we can create more of those charts that we saw before. We can add the lists corresponding to any entity we want and any view that we currently have access to for those entities. We can also drop in iframes so we can access external websites. For instance, we could pull in a big map that shows all of our customer locations. Uh, we can even create what's called a web resource or add a web resource. And web resources are a new concept in CRM 2011 that allows you to upload pages or pictures or other web type files and allows you to embed them and use them in different parts of CRM. And that's a very nice new feature as well. So from here, we can do quite a bit with the appearance of this dashboard. And then once we're done, we can save it out we can keep it as just a personal dashboard. We can share it to others. We can give everyone else access to it. It's very flexible. 
Now, one last thing I want to highlight is the new type, type of chart called a goal chart. Another nice new addition is these goals that I can create. And it's not just limited to money or you know product count sold. You can create goal metrics to measure a lot of different measurable things. And so you can have it for your customer service people on completing cases, your marketing people based on their marketing efforts. And once those goal metrics are defined, you can create charts around them. For instance, this is a chart that I created to measure ticket sales for a demo we have coming up. And as you can see, it calculates how far along we are in our fiscal period. So it tells me we're 88% along there. And that's where I should be aiming for. And if we enlarge this chart, you can see that I'm not doing so well. I'm only at 4% so far of my quota. So I got to get to work. But uh, this is a great, great chart for keeping track of your goals and how far along you are in meeting them. And finally, the, the best part about this is this these dashboards are available in both Outlook and through the web client. And if you are using the Outlook and you're using the offline capabilities, they are also available offline against your offline data. In conclusion, the new dashboard feature in Microsoft CRM 2011 is a powerful business intelligence tool designed to empower your users to make informed business decisions. For more information, please contact us through our website at sonomapartners.com.